So now I want to show you where you can find this tracker. So you're going to have your kids open up Sheets and then just help them navigate to the file menu and then new and instead of choosing spreadsheet they're going to choose from template. When I click on that all of these templates are going to show up. So you've got personal, you've got and then they have a to-do list etc which the to-do list is pretty helpful um, I would share that with kids. They also have a schedule here that you can use to help kids get organized. They have work and if you're high school some of these might be um, helpful for your business students. Um, expense reports etc. I'm going to go all the way to the bottom to where it says education as my topic and here there's an attendance sheet so you can have kids keep their own attendance if that's an issue. There's a grade book which is more for teachers but if you're encouraging kids to be um, independent they might be able to track their own grades here. This right here says assignment tracker. So when they click on this it's automatically going to open up for them and now each student has his or her own tracker. If they're working on this tracker if you happen to be using Google Sites they can actually embed this in their website um, as their portfolio or they can use a Google site as a data notebook. They can also have one tab inside their portfolio as their data notebook. There are all kinds of things that you could do. So the last thing I want to show you is I don't know that I would want to have all of my subjects being tracked in one place. That might be too much for me. I might just want to have a different tab for each assignment or for each subject I mean. So I'm going to click on this drop down arrow whoops, and I'm going to choose duplicate and when I do that it's going to duplicate this exact sheet and now instead of calling this one assignments I can click on here and I can choose rename and I can make this one just all math and I can make this one you can also double click on here I can call this one English and then just hit enter and then I can click on that arrow and I can duplicate this as many times as I need to this one can be science or biology whatever I want to call it Okay. So you've got some flexibility here. Um, it's basically set up. Each one though is going to look identical to the other. And then you wouldn't really need this subject because every single one is going to be math. Because this is my math. So I can click on here and drag down. Or if I want to I can just delete this. Um, I can delete this column altogether. I might also want uh, this to be my date to keep things um, organized. So there are all kinds of things that you can do. If you have younger students you can get this assignment tracker and you can share it out through Google Classroom and make a copy for each student. So uh, if you feel like your students aren't ready to um, walk through those steps and find the template themselves then of course I would recommend that you use Google Classroom.